Howdy folks, Roy Lee here, and I got some more redneck reckoning for you. Now listen here, I was at work, and we had some snow up here in West Virginia over the past week or so. You may know about this crazy snowstorm that came through here. Well, it dumped some snow on us, I'll tell you right now. Now, listen, here's the problem. I, had to, I went to work, and I pull in my pickup and park. And I'm sitting inside the building there working, and I hear this weird noise. And I look out, and here's this young feller. I mean, he couldn't have been more than 16 years old. Got his little honey in the car with him. And his little tiny car, two-wheel drive, has done pulled off in five or six inches of snow along the side of the road. Now, I don't know what he was thinking doing this, but when I went out there to help him, he said he had to pull over to wipe off his windshield. Now, I can understand you can't drive if you can't see, but this feller chose a spot that was, you know, full of snow. It's a big old pile of snow on the side of the road. I mean, it's about yay deep. Why are you going to do that in some little car? Two-wheel drive, pull off the side of the road. So now he's hung up, and the way I knew he's out there was I just heard this weird noise and looked out, and this fool is running around out here with his foot to the floor, just spinning up the gravels and tearing up the grass and just tearing up the whole parking lot and everything right around there, right in the building. So I went out there with the shovel and I helped him dig her out. And, uh, you know, I said, look, first things first, you done got yourself out here in this grass. Now we got to get you back over onto the pavement where we can dig you out to that pavement there and then you can get a run at the road and get going. So we got him, got him squared away, and down the road he went. Now, after that, I went home. Now, that night, we got more snow. So the next day, I didn't go into work. It was too much snow. I have a four-wheel drive pickup that I can drive to work, but hey, you know, there's no sense. Life is too short to be taking needless risks for something as trivial as work. You know, stay home, drink a few beer, and uh, have some fun. Watch some TV, do whatever you do. Anyway, so when I do go back to work, now there's even more snow in the parking lot. And when I pull up, here's this little pickup truck sitting in the parking lot. Now, the parking lot sloped pretty good off the road. And we got these big boulders, big old boulders that are around the edge of the building to keep people from pulling off the side of the road and running into the building. And this pickup truck is buried down in the snow and the gravel and its tail end is right up against one of them rocks. Nobody there. Well... What am I going to do? I just go about my business, work, don't hear nothing from nobody. So, I go home. Next day, I go back to work again. And uh, while I'm working, this feller shows up. And now, uh, this must be a 40-year-old feller. Li says he's from here, lived here all his life. You'd figure he might know how to drive in the snow, but apparently he don't. Because he's buried up to his axle in the snow and gravel and got his tail end wedged up against a rock. Now, what do I got to do? Once again, I got to throw on my jacket, grab a shovel, go out, spend 45 minutes helping this feller dig his truck out and get her up out of there. Finally had to get some chains out of my truck and lay them down underneath his tires so he could get some traction to get out of there. And then he goes two feet. Once we get her loose, we get her loose. Here we are. We're gathered around the truck. I got his daughter. You know, I'm directing this whole thing like a general in, in combat. I got this feller's daughter sitting on the back of the truck to weight her down a little bit, and I've got the chains laid out, and I'm like, look, now you get up in there, I'm going to get behind you here and give you a push, and you just get on the gas and go. And he gets to going, and he goes three feet and stops right there in the snow. Now what in the hell? So now, this feller that we done was hung up, we got him loose, now he's hung up again. So, of course, nothing could be simple twice. Now the chains ain't working because now he's in a different spot and he's sitting on more gravel. So every time the chains just slide underneath the gravel and it's not working. So, he's got her all dug down in here. Now he's buried this thing up to the axle in gravel now. So, well, hell, what am I going to do? So, he's got these big piles of gravel behind the truck tire. And I say, look. He tried to go forward. He went forward about two inches. I said, look, now you go forward as far as you can. And then you start rocking her. And he looked at me and said, excuse me? Oh, what do you mean rocker? 
And now I felt like slapping myself in the face. Now this fella has lived here his whole life, don't know how to rock a truck out up that's hung up. So I said, now look, you pull forward to the two inches. You put it in reverse and you back her up until the back tires are on top of the little hill there or as far up that little hill as you can get them where you done dug the gravel up. And then you put her in drive and you hit her hard forward as hard as you can go. So he does her. And he gets forward another few inches. And now he's just sitting there like it didn't work. And I said, well, you don't just stop there. You got to put her in reverse. Back it all the way back up to the top of that little hill of gravel you got there. Put her back in drive and hit her again. Well, by God, now it took a few times, but we finally got him going. And what do you think he does? Gets up there a few more feet and stops again. Now, what in the hell? What in the hell am I supposed to do to get this fella out these gravels and, and all this snow and everything? Every time I get him loose, he gets hung up again. Everybody knows when you're trying to get loose or getting hung up, you don't stop driving. Once you start moving, you don't stop until you're on solid ground again. You don't stop. I don't care what happens. And then the other rule is, if you're hung up, you should know how to rock yourself free. How you going to be driving around the snow and stuff, you don't know how to get out. But anyway, so I finally get this feller. Again, you know, me and... Me and his daughter climb up on one side and I climb up on the other side. We're bouncing on the back of the truck trying to get this sucker a little bit extra traction. And I looked at him and I said, look, buddy, you get this sucker moving. You don't stop. You get out there on the road and you go. And then you can swing back around here and I'll throw your shovel in the back of the truck. Well, by God, we finally got him out of there. And I called up my buddy and I told him about the whole situation. And he said, and I agree with him, some things should just be on the driving test. They should take you in a vehicle out there into a sand, you know, sandbar or something and get her hung up and then say, now, here's the deal. You done parallel parked your car. You done drove it around town for us. You done uh, demonstrated knowledge of the seatbelt and all other contraptions that's in there to keep you from killing yourself. Now, we'll give you your driver's license. We'll give it to you for free. We won't even charge you for it. If you can get this here vehicle un unstuck here. Get her unhung up. Get her out of this mud hole. I know many a good old boy, the 13-year-old, could walk out there and jump right in and say, all right, here we go. We'll get you right out of there. But I told the fella, I said, look. I told him early on, I said, look, I got my truck, and I'd try to pull you out, but even on this, uh, with this, way this snow is and the gravel even with four wheel drive I'm not going to have any traction he wanted to try it so I took the truck over there and hooked it up to him tried to give him a little tug couldn't get the traction so I had to you know cut loose and back out and say well let's go back to digging but we got him out of there eventually we got him out and he he said thank you and then he said the darndest thing to me he said do I owe you anything now looky here what in the hell this feller is from here, says he's from here, lived here his whole life. And he thinks a fella walk out of a building. Now, it's none of my business what's going on. All right, he, he come in to tell me that his truck was hung up and that he was going to try to get it out of there. And I said, all right. Now, it's none of my business. I could have sit in there at work and not a soul would have blamed me for just sitting in there and doing my job. But what did I do? I took time out of my day. Walked out in the cold with my coat on to go out here and help dig this fella for 45 minutes out of the hole he got himself into. And then he got the nerve to ask me if I want money. I should have slapped him in his god darn face. Now, I tell you what. That's just, I, I don't know what to say, fellas. Look, if you're from the city, I'd give you a pass. You fellas don't know how to drive in the snow. Because you're in the city. If it gets snowy, you just take the bus. Or, you know, the, the, whatever the train is under the ground, the steam cars under the ground. You take those things. But, you know, and if, if, if worse comes to worse, you just walk to work. Because you're in the city. You ain't that far. But us fellas out here in the country, you got to know how to do this kind of stuff. I don't know. 40-year-old man can't get himself unstuck. Don't know how to rock a car. Don't know, don't know enough to keep going once he gets loose. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for you. 
I mean, I normally I just blame it on on watering down a society and then yuppies spreading to the country and all this crazy stuff. But I mean, you can't. Fellers older than I am by excuse me by a good fifteen years. Well, that's my story this time, and uh, it's a true story too. You can call up Chuck or go check him out on YouTube and ask him. Send him a message. Ask him if old Roy Lee didn't tell him about the fella that got his truck hung up out there in the snow. You see. Anyway, that's all I got for you this time, I reckon. You fellas take it good.